Okay, so while Zaya was checking out the last gadget standing, Lucas was elsewhere on the floor of CES 2013, being entranced by Lego The Next Generation. So we all know and love Lego, and 15 years ago, they changed the game with their Mindstorm set. Well, it's the 15th anniversary, and I have Camilla here to explain to us how this is an evolution. Well, this is a new Lego Mindstorm 83. Well, what was that? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, first I was me controlling the robot from my smart device, so I, you can now control your robot from iOS and Android devices. And secondly, that was you sort of interacting with the IR sensor. We have the eyes of the robot. Oh, my God, that's fantastic. So now we're actually controlling the Lego with our smart devices exactly, and can, interacting with them. You can control all your robots from your smart device. What's the, the inspiration behind this type of uh, advancement in these guys? Well, first of all, it, we know it's so important for children to play their range robotics, you know, we want them to give them a great building experience, and then they add behaviors to the Lego robot, either by controlling it using smart devices, you can also control it using this infrared beacon that comes in the set, or you can control it on this programmable brick right here, or you can program it using the software that comes in the set. So really sort of enabling children to bring the Lego to life is so important for us. Wow, right on. That's amazing. So it's not just a passive experience. It's very interactive, it yeah, seems like. Yeah, certainly. It's, it, you know, it, it's really sort of the hands-on experience of building and then thinking, how do I make it move? Or if I use my smart device, what happens when I use this gesture? And, you know, really making it fun to, to learn about robotics. Wow, that is fantastic. Okay. Now, these look pretty advanced. Um, how, how easy is it for a kid to just jump in and start creating and inventing? Well, we, we sort of, this is the robot we encourage children to start with. It takes about 20 minutes to, to build this robot. Uh, and you have, you know, a really fun experience with it. But all the other ones, you know, this one is a little bit more advanced. Lots of hours of playing this one, so now it's going to attack the uh, <laughs> right other on. one. So this application we talk about right now is for commanding your robot. We'll also have an application that you can download for tablets, Android and iOS, where you build your robot in 3D. So building a robot is going to be, you know, much more fun and it's very engaging. So now, do kids have to stick with a, a certain template? Or once they get advanced and, and they understand how it goes, they can start inventing their own types of robots? Exactly, exactly. That's why we want, want them to be creative and build their own robots. So, you know, these are just examples of what we can do when we provide building instructions. But we want them to build their own crazy robots. And of course, by children, you mean children of all ages, exactly. correct? Exactly. Wow, fantastic. Camilla, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. For the full story on LEGO Mindstorm EV3, it's a web exclusive, so head online. But be careful if you're browsing with a mouse. Okay, let's check out.